Ready? Yep. Greetings and welcome, everyone. It's All You Can Geek Movie Cast, episode 334. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gass, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Feinside. Yo. And Tony Korkanakis. I'm the best at what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even uh, see the movie. You didn't even see it? Oh, man. No. Nope. All right. Well, no spoiler cast coming up yet for Logan. But uh, welcome, listeners. Welcome, viewers. To episode 334. This has been one of the busiest weeks for me in a long time. And that's both in gaming and in movies. So uh, I let's just get into it. Like, let's let's go. Rotten Tomatoes. Let's uh, look at our box office here. Um, which, by the way, that's what we use for our numbers. But all right. Uh, Logan. <laughs> Logan at number one. At 88.5 million. Uh, that's that's an, really impressive, actually. That's an adjusted rate, because they said, I think, 86 at first. So they yeah. adjusted to 88. Uh, Actuals. Wow. I was asking, like, last week, like, do we see 85? And, like, we all kind of agreed, no way. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't hitting that. Know. What do we say, like, 70, 75? We say, I what think you... the highest we I mean, like, we were in the 65 to 70s. But yeah, I, but... I don't know. Um, I, said... I, I said it could do I said it could do 80, but I expected 60, 65. Hmm. I mean, I asked 85. I was like, I, can it get there? Because that's, I thought that was the mark that showed that this was going to be a, a breakout hit for me. Yeah. I mean, this is, uh, and this deserves it. I mean, this is a very, very good movie. Um, it's in my, in my opinion. Now I'm not saying this is everybody's opinion, but this is the best of any of the X-Men movies I've seen. Wow. Better than Deadpool. It's well, like X-Men movie. Yeah, it's, it is. He's Fox, right. It's He's X-Men. right. It has X Men in it. Oh, that's a that's a tough one. Deadpool oh. isn't like a normal movie though. That's a tough one though, Corey. You're right. Oh my god. So I would put them very. All I know arguable. is when Deadpool, we did our spoiler cast. People were throwing out best comic book movie of all time. <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying. I, it's it's I, it, you're, you're splitting hairs at this point between the two of them. How about that? Okay. I mean, they're both very good. Uh, the best at what movies. they do. Is what I mean. Tony says. For for a Wolverine movie, it's very easy to make the statement it's the best Wolverine movie. For the X Men straight X Men because it has Patrick Stewart in it, I would say it's the best X Men. How about that? Should I call you Logan Weapon X? Yep, yep. I mean that's no. I mean you get everything. You get everything in this movie. You get drama. You get action. You get some comedy. Um, I mean, how often do you get to see Patrick Stewart play a feebly old man like rickety? You know, <clears> so. Well, uh, we can get some we'll here that, voice we'll the that more going forward. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who saw this? I mean, Corey, you saw this. I saw this. Mike, did you get to see it? No, I, I haven't. I, I figured. I mean, <laughs> Mike, Mike's laid up or else he would have gone with us to see it. I would mm-hmm. wanted to, but it wasn't possible. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, <clears throat> it's it's great. Go see it if you haven't. Uh, it's worth seeing in the theaters. It is. I mean, it's, like I said... Very shocking. I'm very happy that it met my expectations as a Logan movie because my expectations were rising and it still met them. <clears throat> was it a good uh, finisher for uh, Hugh Jackman's run? Yes. Yes. I mean, it feels like yeah. this feels like it was I a think... great farewell tour for him. That's what it feels and like. And it's like the polar opposite of what Origins was. Like, yeah. with yeah. Origins, they really changed the character to just fit what they wanted for him. Where here they're like, let's be true to this character and make him and show him as he should be. Oh, so, good. That's refreshing to hear. Again, like yeah. I said before, it's not how you start until you finish. So, um, and that's a good point. I mean, this is going to be like for the mark as him as you know Wolverine because they're probably going to recast. But oh, absolutely for the mark no, for definitely. him. I mean, he just he raised the level in this movie. Fine. I mean, he just and and like I've never been like. A huge fan because he's. I think he's way too tall. A huge, yeah, fan. yeah, a huge fan. <laughs> uh, it, it just like I'm not saying he's been terrible, but I'm not saying he's been fantastic. And I would say that this no. last movie leaves such a very good impression for him. So, mm-hmm. uh, I'm good. yeah, no, I'm yeah. definitely looking forward to see it. I wish I could, but unfortunately, I don't have healing powers. So, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't make it. Well, out. I mean, based off the trailers, it doesn't look like he's got them that much either. Yeah, now, and that's cool too. The one, the one part of me that does regret not seeing it theaters because I think I got sp- not spoiled but something that I thought was going to happen that they did hmm. 
Somebody said something to you, or you saw it online? No, I saw it online. Well, it's like, oh, mm. look, you could see blah, blah, blah. I was like, hmm. Yeah, right cool. now, I'm, like, on high alert, avoiding spoilers for that and later parts of Horizon. Um, mm. I already got a little, like, hint about Horizon that I'm kind of mad about. <laughs> oh, really? Something. Hmm. So I'm I'm going to stop looking at things. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I had to be so careful with the. No, it, this is the movie cast, but I had to be so careful over the weekend with uh, Zelda. I was like, so mad. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I scrolling through Twitter, I'm like, oh, I see something. Gotta look away. There's gonna be some great. Those who are watching this and listening that maybe you don't check out the games cast, there's gonna be some great discussions coming up with the Switch, with Horizon included. Um, three people have played Horizon, and three people have played Zelda? Corey? All right. Two people have played Zelda, but. Um, <laughs> What? <laughs> you hooked up the system and did nothing? No, I I, I got Trevor treasure, the treasure trove. Oh, okay. Shovel Knight. Did you get all? Uh, oh, okay. I, 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 yeah, I do have to thank you, Tony, for spotting that. That was a good <laughs> yeah. catch. So you you yeah. bought it through the the store. Ah, ah, all right. Let's whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hold up. Let's get back to movies. Um, yeah. So the, your box office is Logan Get Out, which is another movie that I actually want to go see. Um, what was Get Out? That's that. It's a horror surprising. film that's not really horror. Oh yeah, film. yeah, yeah. I think I asked that last week too. It's got one of those. It's one of those. Like, I had no idea what that was. One say, of those, like, surprising shark movies. thriller. Yeah, they said it's very Dude, surprising apparently movie. The actor like got pissed off that the Rotten Tomatoes score got like the perfect Rotten Tomatoes score was ruined by uh, one critic. Who? Oh, really? Who was the critic? I don't know. I didn't even look at. it. I just saw the headlines. Maybe like it's the so and so sounds the, off on the Horizon review. critic that spoils perfect score. <laughs> well, there's gonna be like one. In the where is it? There's got to be one. Oh man! All right, I'll find it. But uh, as we go on, I want to know who it is. I do want to know who it is because yeah, it had the hundred percent. Um, so the rest of the box office was uh, now off my screen. There it is. And it's off everyone's screen. Who cares? National Review. <laughs> what Armin, is that? Armin White. Get Out is nope. an un, uh, uh, is an attenuated oh. comedy sketch in which serious concerns are debased. Hmm. Okay. That's the excerpt. But anyway, so we have anyway, Logan, Logan, Logan took the box office. That's Logan, all that really Get Out, The Shack, Lego Batman, which is that a flop? No, it's not a flop. No, I don't not a flop. It's a huge hit, though, as much as they wanted it to be, but yeah, it's I not mean, a it, flop. It, it failed to make uh, anywhere near what Lego Movie brought. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. John Wick Chapter it's, 2 is fucked, yeah. but... It's kind of weird. I mean, like, you would think that Lego Batman, just the Batman name would have more hurt, but I guess, I don't know, I, I just I think, kind of feel like adults, like, didn't care to see that, like, most adults, but yeah, I, you would think that, that the kid market would make up for that, but. Hmm. I, I, I thought so, too, but yeah, I was shocked by how little it did, actually, the first week uh, opening. Yeah. It's not that it did terribly, but it was it below, a lot of comp- below tracking. What did it? What did it do? I don't even remember. Was it 56? Well, it's darker than black or whatever, gray. What was that? Darker than gray? 50, 50 shades, shades of darker. darker. <laughs> oh, whatever. I don't That's know. That's not the same. There's no way it's the same people watching. No, no, I'm <laughs> just saying. And then John Wick came out. So those three movies all came out the same weekend. They, I know, but they all should have their own demographics that seem pretty separate from each other. Mm-hmm. At least on the surface. I think, I mean, personally, I think the Lego Batman movie was playing a lot more towards the uh, older audience than mm-hmm. the uh, younger audience based on the trailers. I mean, a lot of the trailers are just like, yeah. well, the thing is the kids are going to go see it no matter what. Cause it's Lego Batman. Mm-hmm. But as you know, as an older fan, you could be like, Oh, you know, I see nods to the other Batman series throughout the years and stuff like that. So I'll go see it. But yeah, it's just weird. I, I mean, is there any competition right now for the, the kid market movie? Anything else in theaters? No, <laughs> no. 50 shades darker. That's... <laughs> no, there's nothing out right now. So, Hmm. Opening this week though is going to be Kong, which is actually getting very strong reviews. Uh, oh, cool. I shit. do. Oh man, that looks so the good. Last I, thing I we need it. is another Kong movie. Come on. Nope. Not after. Not after uh, Peter Jackson's. But this movie. is look. It's getting hmm. strong I, reviews, and it's part of the Godzilla universe. Like they're going to do that multi-universe nope. thing. I think that's a cool idea. So. What? I sure. think it looks cool. I, I sure. like that. I, I hope you guys enjoy. It. I just, like. Yeah. Man, like, like guys. No I, interest. I don't know, but I saw. I, like, I don't know what you said, Mike. He said he has zero, <laughs> kind of he has zero interest. I think he froze. Zero interest. <laughs> he froze. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, you froze. Mike, you froze at like the greatest moment. You're like, 
<laughs> but uh, no, I, I what's weird is I don't I didn't really like the Godzilla movie though. But I I do I no, can yeah, call it stuff. I, I thought Skull Godzilla Island was, I think is a fascinating. Like, like it's not like I hated Godzilla, like, but it was it? very mediocre. So like wait, I wasn't excited wait, for Kong. This, this Kong is in that same universe as the last yeah. American Godzilla movie. Yeah. But, it's taking place a lot like, earlier. Got, it, looks like, so. guys, it looks totally different. Like, John, John Goodman's pretty good, and he was also no no pun intended there. He's a but, good man. Uh, he's a good man. <laughs> uh, but he was very good, and I just watched Ten Cloverfield Lane like a couple months ago, and he was really good in that. He was fantastic in that. And I'm, he's always I'm, good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing him in this movie. Like that's one of the draws for me, seeing John Goodman in this kind of in this mm-hmm. role. Good to see um, Captain Marvel in, in a supporting role. Yeah, Brie Larson, that's right. And uh, Loki. Oh, that's right. Hiddleston's in this. He's the he's the. Oh, that, uh, that's hero. how we'll sell it. It's a Marvel movie. There we go. There you go. Brie Larson and Hiddleston. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's opening this week. Um, that's it for your box office. Uh, so let's get into the movie news. We got some tough, and then we get into what we've been up to, and then to the games cast because we've got a <laughs> lot to talk about. Um, so Danny Rand, Iron Fist. Iron Fist is coming out season one this month on Netflix. Was it March seventeenth? I think. Yeah, I think yeah. two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. This now, month is fucking packed. This, this month is nuts. Like, it is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so, and by the way, I've got my, my girlfriend is now watching Daredevil. Uh, God, it's such a good season, the season one. Like, it is so good. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we're watching that. But um, Iron Fist is coming out, and there will be no co- Don't expect to see a costume for Danny Rand for the Iron Fist costume in season one, they said. That was coming out today. Yeah. That's fine with me because it's one of the ugliest superhero costumes in comics. Well, we didn't get it's so um, terrible. Yeah. So we didn't get Daredevils till the very end either. So we'll get some. One. I think we'll get some modified version at the end. That's my. That's my theory. I don't it's, mind. Um, he had like a white version for like the feet. The, mm-hmm. I don't know. Order the Phoenix order. That that didn't look too bad. But like the green. Because well, it didn't have the open looks, chest, right? Yeah. Those, those are villain colors. He's wearing villain colors as far as super. Yeah, it's like fucking like Hydra colors. Stuff. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> very strange. Hail yeah. Hydra. <laughs> he is wearing Hydra stuff. I I I'm like I'm okay with this though because like it looks like it's gonna be from what we saw at Comic Con last uh, October. It looks really good. Uh, yeah, looks <laughs> really good. So. Um, Can't wait! Yeah, I'm super excited. Mark's gonna watch that before I watch the cage, so it's gonna happen. Understandable. I hope you don't. I hope you don't get a out of sequence cameo or something. Then, actually, you, I hope. You wait, are you gonna watch? <laughs> uh, are you gonna watch Luke Cage before the Defenders? It's, it's a possibility, but at this point, I can't guarantee really? anything. Where, where is your Marvel commitment, Corey? You you disappoint me greatly. <laughs> Forget- Not really. The, what Marvel commitment? How far did you even make it, in Luke Cage, dude? Three episodes so far. Uh, come out. If, you, if he could just, get, just watch, could... just watch three more. Yeah, it's not three even more. Bad. Well, I mean, I'm gonna watch. I, I know I'm gonna watch it at some point. I have to watch it at some point. Just, just kind of get the full picture of what Netflix is doing. But it just hasn't been a priority. It's just like, uh, nah, I don't really feel it's like definitely, it. Definitely, like it wasn't the greatest of the series, but it wasn't terrible. Like it was good. I mean, like Jessica Jones and obviously Daredevil both hooked me like right away. I'm like, oh, I gotta see these, and I really, I'm curious about where this is going. But Luke Cage just always seemed like a side character. Like I couldn't really see where they were gonna go with he's it. Not, he's not. He's not a Jessica good Jones. Man. Did. <laughs> hmm? All right. Yeah. I I like I I Jessica Jones was brought it, they, uh what's his, you know the villain brought me into that one but i stayed because it was fucking amazing uh in my opinion it's still the, it, i think it's the best netflix show i thought you thought daredevil was better no no i really? think jessica jones i think i remember you saying the opposite at one no, point no no I, I i think jessica jones because the villain i think i, I want to go back and listen to it because i really say that jessica jones mm. is better um, okay just because the, the villain is just really good although oh, when the punisher oh, shows up that's really the whole thing, though. It's just like learning the villains' like motivations and powers and abilities. That's like, yeah, the hook of that show. Yeah, what mm-hmm. she actually does, like, <laughs> it's a series of really bad decisions, as far as I can tell. Oh, there goes Corey. Uh, Corey's oh. sick of our shit. Did he drop? He's going to watch Luke Cage. Shit. We're gonna have to pause this <laughs> podcast. All right. All right. So. After technical difficulties from Corey, we're, we're resuming our <laughs> conversations here. Uh, I think we were talking about Iron Fist, but I don't remember exactly what it was about. You Sorry. were complaining about Jessica Jones being better or something as well. I was well. saying Jessica Jones was going to be – it is better, and I want to know – I'll listen back and we'll, we'll hear it. You know, that, that's basically it. 
Um, Inhumans, Inhumans, the series coming out on ABC, uh, has a premiere date for its IMAX deal. Remember, there's an IMAX deal where it's going to appear two weeks before it comes out. So September 1st mm-hmm. is the IMAX premiere. Okay. So expect it on ABC the week, two weeks after that. Or maybe it's 30 um, days. Maybe it's 30 days. There's pictures of Black Bolt and stuff as well. Yeah, but they don't translate usually to uh, this podcast. So I didn't put it on here. But it was without CG, No, I'm just saying, so saying just, like he's yeah. out there. So yeah. in the wild. it doesn't look good. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't whatever. look good. Yeah, we'll see. Not movie budgeted, so. I don't, I don't care about the Inhumans. Yeah, I know. All. I know you're Mar- you're a mutant fan. I'm a mutant fan as well. But yeah, we, fuck the Inhumans. We get fucking pieces. We of get shit. what we get, Mike. We don't have a deal with Fox, so we get we get what we get. Broke you know? ass X Men. They are. No, I I completely agree. They're very uh, their own thing too. They have their all all their own shit, and they're very separate. It seems from mm-hmm. everyone else. Yeah, I don't I know. Mean, Black I mean, Black lives on the moon. That's my impressions I got from Marvel Ultimate Alliance, which is my only real exposure to them before this at all. <laughs> you go to the moon and meet them, <laughs> and that's about it. Does Black Bolt talk? Cause... <laughs> no, he doesn't talk. He could okay. I'm dot, dot, okay. dots, and, gets, and everyone gets mad at you for trying to talk to him. <laughs> yeah, well, because he'll kill you. <laughs> he does. Uh, all right. Um, what's next? Star Wars. Star Wars. We talked about how there was a rumor at the Star Wars event they were going to announce a new animated series and that Rebels was going to finish this year. Well, Rebels was now renewed for season four, so it's not yeah, ending this year. Maybe all of it is a lie. I heard it's gotten very good though. It's because it's wrapping up. Because you know, it seems like they do the Walking. It's always dead. better at the end. Yeah, it seems like they do the Walking Dead thing where there's like a lot of fluff and then a good finale. You know, so mm-hmm. we'll see. Uh, that's the news. Let's get into what we've been up to. Uh, as I stated, we saw Logan. Anything to add to that, guys? Or we're good with that? I wish well, I did. <laughs> I, I, I uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. My wife and I saw it with you and your girlfriend, Jim. We all saw it together. She was uh, not expecting the movie to be the way it was. Like, just as brutal and, you know, there's some feels in there. So it's like, she definitely was like, not shocked, but more like surprised about what happened and she cried at the end actually it was it's like whoa like you don't even care about these characters and like so uh it was interesting to see her reaction for a non-fan yeah uh to go into it but it, it's it's brutal like this yeah. is what wolverine should this be this is like, what we've been awesome. waiting since like x x-men the original movie yeah. we've been seeing for wolverine waiting to see this mm. So. so, I mean, there's some really great sequences in this film. Oh, you and know, I have to give to that girl some a lot of credit. She did a great job. Did you guys see the Deadpool teaser? I forgot to mention that. I didn't know if that was a spoiler or not because... No, it's online. I, I know it's, I know it's out I was, online. That's what I was talking about. It's, on, okay. it's online. I know it's online. I'm just saying, I just because it's online, I mean, Star Wars like spoilers were online too. I don't know how I'm making this a spoiler because I never never mentioned. No, I'm not making. I'm not saying you're making a spoiler. I'm just saying I didn't want to say anything because I didn't know if people wanted to go into the scene. Anyways, scene it you don't need to stay. You don't need don't to stay. Get... You don't need to stay through right. the credits. You do not need to stay through the credits. Mm-hmm. Anybody okay. hasn't seen it yet, you don't have to stay through the credits. That was a little mm-hmm. bull. So. All right. Anyways, go on, Corey. What else? What have you been up to? No, it's giving the girl credit. I think she did a great job. Uh, in the trailers, you see a little bit about her, and uh, I think she emotes well without having to I say a so. lot. Yeah, she doesn't say it. I don't... Uh, yeah, so yeah, we can't get into spoilers. She basically Ellie? She's, um, no. Ellie talks no. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they were going for a Natalie Portman in the professional type of uh, character, which is what the director was saying. Okay. Yeah, I can see the influence. That's cool. Mm-hmm. All right, what else, Corey? What else have you been up to? Um, other than that, not really watching much. I mean, just playing games. A, yeah, it's, it's a, a lot, lot of games, games to play. All right, uh, Mike. Um. So yeah, this was my surgery week, and I really uh, didn't watch it. too much of anything. I mostly played stuff, but I did watch. I'm behind on everything except. I watched Legion just before this podcast, possibly <laughs> under the influence of painkillers. <laughs> um, the only way to watch Legion, apparently. Yeah, no, it, it's, it was interesting. Um, it's, it's still kind of more of the same, but 
right now I find since I chose that, it's like more compelling to me than any of the other regular shows I was watching. So I guess that's a good Nukes sign. Different. I mean, and I'm just feeling the X Men a little bit now, even though I'm not sure this is really ever going to get tied in with them. I mean, I feel like it kind of has to at least get tied in with that one major X Men character eventually, but mm. um, we'll see. But it's still, it's always just mental gymnastics to try to follow that show, which is fun. Um, and everything else, I don't care about. I mean, I'll catch up eventually, but not but- now. <laughs> I'm behind. I'm behind on the hundred. Like I haven't watched that since episode two, so mm. they're like five episodes in now. So I gotta watch yep. that. Uh, I have and Shields on break. So pff, yeah, I'm watch that. Tony, what have you been up to? Games. Games. I will add. <laughs> I will add one movie on Corey's recommendation that I went out and I got and I watched Hacksaw Ridge. Oh, cool. I did. I watched it last night. It was very good. It was very, that, very good. Is that, the, that uh, the, the pacifist soldier Yes, the guy? pacifist yeah. soldier. The conscientious objector. Yes, yes. <laughs> conscientious ad- objector is what they call him in the, in the, in the story. So he's basically, the, will not carry a gun, but he wants to serve in the army. So. Oh. And he does. Uh, he's a medic. The he's end, a medic. I think the end it's really true. makes it, like, not the end. Like, they have, because it's a true story. And they, it's based and on a true story. Based on true story. And they do talk to the people involved at the end. And I think that really, like, really yeah, they, hits they, home. They pulled a little, this... um, yeah, they pulled, they pulled a little band of brothers at the end where they had the um, actual vets talking and the main, and the actual character it was based off It was of. based on, yeah. So you can hear him describing the events that you had just seen in the movie and how they depicted it. So it actually happened, those events, which is crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was really Probably cool. Good. Yeah, it was really it's good. It's good they do that because that means he survives and you don't get that sort of mixed Hollywood message where it's like, oh, look, you can be nonviolent, but then you'll get killed. No, yeah. he'll survive. Yeah. You can have sex, but then you'll die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought so, it was um, – I, I thought it was very good. Very good movie. I was – it wasn't even like – it wasn't even super emotional, but it was – well, I guess it was kind of, but it wasn't like super emo- – You didn't, like there's no tear-jerking scenes in my opinion, but it was really good. Um, yeah, so it was, it was well done, so – Kind of, kind of bloody. It made you think it's war. Yeah, well, towards Mel Gibson. Yeah, yeah, he loves that stuff. But it does afterwards. You think about it, and you're like, wow, it's like this actually happened. It's... Yeah, that's the weirdest part. Is like this guy really did not carry a weapon, and like the army didn't have any idea how to deal with that. Like they, mm-hmm. they were like, you can't do that. You have to carry a weapon. Vince Vaughn was pretty funny too. Yeah, I liked yeah. his character. Yeah, he was good. He had a little, a uh, little humor into it. Still serious mm-hmm. role, but it was still yeah. humor. Vince Vaughn's in this movie, dude. Vince Vaughn's in this movie. Vince Sam Vaughn Worthington used, is in this he, movie. People forget when Vince Vaughn was young, he was like in all serious roles for a little while. Yeah, swingers. He does a good. no. He does he does a good job though in this. He really does. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, he's he's great. But and like, it's got and it's got the when Sam Spider-Man. Worthington showed up, I was like, holy shit! What what happened to this guy's career? He was in everything when the event, like Avatar came out. Yeah, Avatar ended it. It's true. Mm-hmm. He might be back. He's, is he in Avatar 2? Who cares? I don't know. But I do know that uh, the, the former Spider-Man is in this, and he's the main character. So yeah, Andrew, yeah. Andrew Garfield. Uh, oh. But all right. Uh, so Good that's job. that's what I watched. That's all we've been watching. So that's gonna that's gonna wrap up the movie cast episode. Oh. Um, so, uh, listeners and viewers, thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter at All You Can Geek. Like us on Facebook. Uh, and uh, write us podcast at allyoucangeek.net for any topics or any questions you have for us. We'd be happy to hear from you. And thanks. Tune in next week. Or tune in to the Gamescast. Coming up.